Okay, so today is the day. We start injections today. About to start pumping hormones into me and we'll see how it goes. My alarm's about to go off. I've set daily alarms for 420 that I have to get my gonal out of the fridge so it can warm up to room temperature and then five o'clock alarm is when E is gonna give me the injections. So we are going to pull out our first box of gonal to warm up to room temperature and then we'll be combining the gonal and the minopore together which is awesome so I don't have to take two injections I get one injection which is amazing um, but I've been told this bad boy burns I think it's this one that burns so I can't wait for y'all to watch and to give you the review and let you know how it goes so coming at you back at five o'clock so E is gonna get my injections all ready for me is there any master pro at this so we're gonna take this and this and then kind of do a little bit of that and mix it and then put it in here and add that and then poke her with this. Did that make sense? Did y'all follow that? That's what we're gonna do? We're gonna do that after we wipe it down with some of this stuff. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Right. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Yep, done. So always make sure you have a sanitized surface, alcohol wipe, clean surface, it's a very tiny wipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, small. So today's injections are the gonal and the menopore. If I'm saying that wrong, y'all can leave me a, in the comments how to say it. <laughs> gonal. Ganel. Ganella. And then. Menopore. Menopore. Alright. So, the Menopore, I was actually surprised. It comes in a powder form. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. That's not liquid. That's powder. So, we make it into a liquid and injectable with. What do we use to make it? This. This one here. Oh, yeah. We use, can't read it, but sodium chloride to make it injectable. So I am doing, these are 75 IUs of the menopore and I'm doing 150, so we have to do two menopores. But you only need one of the sodium chlorides because you only need one milliliter to make it injectable, so we won't use all of those. So we'll do two bottles of Menopar, and then we're doing 200 IUs of the Gonel, 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 200, even though it comes in a 300 pin, so we won't use the entire pin today, we'll use the 100 that's left later. Yes. Yes. All right, so now we're gonna take this, there's the syringe, So we're going to take the Q-cap here, we're going to connect it to the sodium chloride, the liquid. Take this off, and take it, and it's going to snap down, just like that, and take this off. So that's down. And then we're gonna take the syringe and pull it out to one milliliter. And we're gonna screw it. So now we have the one milliliter of the sodium. So we're going to take this and 
and then pop it off. Add it to the mineral pour. Right? Mineral pour? Yeah. Saying it right? And that's what makes it injectable. I'm going to change the powder to a liquid form. So add it to it. And it goes away pretty quickly. Oh wow, that like totally dissolves yeah. so fast. And oh. swirl. That's pretty good. To crazy. mix it. So they say in the video, swirl. Swirl, but not too fast because you don't want bubbles. Yep. Yeah. Looks No good. bubbles. Okay. So it's all in there. Swirl. Okay. Now we have to mix. This is only 75. We need 150, so we're going to mix it with the other uh, uh, dry mixture. So I'm going to pull this out. the way it worked was for each thing of powder you had to have your own little vial of sodium but you you can actually use one of the things for sodium up to five things of minopor powder like in case you need to take that much I only need to take two right now so it's not like you're having to inject that much liquid into you it's just denser so that's kind of cool you think that's cool mm -hmm. I think it's cool Take the other one. All right, so this is the new powder. So inject what we just mixed into it. And this will create 150 IUs of minopore. Sounds good. So now we're going to remove the cap. So now we have to mix the Gonal F. They said we can mix it. So we get to combine the Gonal F in here with the Minipore that she's going to use. It does not look like a lot. Well, it's the same amount of fluid. Just a, I know, it just looks tiny. Yeah. Where's the... So this is one milliliter of fluid? Yeah. That is so tiny. All right. And then, so we're going to take the cap off here. And there's the end. We're going to take a syringe. Needle, yeah, needle. So this is what you normally would probably uh, give your injection with, but for this case we're going to combine it with this one. So we're going to turn it to 200 There you go, 200 And we're going to take it And then we're injecting into here
and they say hold it for about five seconds. Let everything get in there. And then release. So that can be thrown away. We'll keep the gonal pin because we yeah. still have a hundred IUs left in it, so the we can, can be thrown away. All right, so now that both medications are in here. So now we, it's time to withdraw the medications uh, that are mixed into the syringe. So we're going to take our needle. I don't know why I got nervous all of a sudden. We're going to attach it to the syringe. Just like that. And then we're gonna pull out there. That's how much we wanna draw out. So now that all the medications are mixed, push it so that there's no more air. So we're just a little bit comes out. Just like that. And apply the tip back on. Now it's ready for injection. Okay. Yep. Alright, my five o'clock alarm every day saying, E, shoot me up. Time to do this. What do you want? In your neck? Or you want it? <laughs> oh. okay, so they not the neck. Stay in the stomach, rotate it, but like right around here. So yes, let's we'll start in the right. Okay. Well, for camera purposes, we'll start in the left, and tomorrow we'll go to the right. Okay, not the neck then, right? No, not the neck. Prep the skin. Ah, I'm nervous all of a sudden. Do it like a dart. That's what Are they you say. holding the skin or am I holding the skin? You just do it all. Okay. I have to take it. You just do it. <sighs> oh my gosh. No. Just do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. But they say one of them's gonna burn, so here we go. It's like fire in my stomach. Oh my gosh. Good job. There you go. And then oh, little, got a little bit of bleeder. <laughs> got a little bleeder. It just felt like a little fire. All right. All right, so day one, down. Got 150 IUs of Menopar and 200 IUs of Gonal, and I've got the best nurse. Can I call you nurse? Nurse E, who likes to be called E. <laughs> so day one down, they say that, think it's the Menopar that burns. It did feel like a little slight wildfire in my stomach, but it didn't last that long. It wasn't as bad as I was expecting it, so now I'm just curious when the side effects if I'm gonna have them are gonna hit the menopause, the hot flashes, the, ang the angry hormonal flashes. Uh, so I apologize in advance for anything that I may do or say. E. Hi, I love you. Love you. So we hope that you will follow along. We'll keep vlogging our way through this. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and we literally just got the show on the road. It's exciting. <laughs> you excited? Yep. Got a thumbs up from him. Bye guys.